Good day! This is your Lifestyle Coach, Jeric Ternida. Ang didiscuss ko po for today is the most used supplements, no? Itong whey protein. Uh, Paralala lang po ulit, uh, it, this is for the healthy individuals. Uh, please consult first your doctor. Okay? Welcome to Tabata. Here we go with five, four, Three, two, one, go! Round one! Okay mga ka-health buff, let's discuss about the whey protein. No? Kasi uh, dapat malaman natin what type of whey protein na fit sa body mo and also the right timing no? ng whey protein. So... <clears throat> There's a lot of kinds of whey protein, no? like the whey concentrate, whey caseinate, whey isolate, and hydrolyze. No? So, unahin natin yung whey concentrate. So, ito yung whey concentrate, mas, ano yan, mas uh, pinakamura kasi uh, uh, hindi, siya, ano, hindi siya lactose free. Uh, hindi siya pre-nasses as lactose free. So, of course, mas mura siya. Um, problema kung nakaka-experience kayo ng side effect sa whey concentrate like uh, diarrhea <coughs> uh, bloatness and also abdominal cramps means to say you are uh, lactose intolerance kasi para matunaw mo ang, ang lactose kasi yung concentrate nga may lactose yan So, para matunaw mo siya, you need a lactase enzyme, no? Uh, yun ang nagda-digest sa lactose. Kaya ang nangyayari, pag wala kang mababa ang lactase enzyme mo, uh, hindi mo siya madadigest. So, kung iinom ko ng whey protein na concentrate, eh, it's useless, no? Hindi mo siya na-absorb ng gusto. Pero, kung na-absorb mo, it means to say, uh, maganda yung Uh, digestion mo, meron kang lactase enzyme, no? Na, 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 na digest mo yung lactose. So, okay sa yung concentrate. Same thing as the uh, the caseinate, no? The whey protein caseinate. Yung whey protein caseinate, long-acting to. So, ganun din. <laughs> ganun din siya. Uh, hindi siya lactose free. So, <clears throat> yun ang kaibahan naman sa so long-acting siya. Pwede mo siyang inumin sa gabi or as a bill replacement. So, kung, kung kaya mong uh, i-digest din itong caseinate, you can take also whey protein caseinate. Ngayon, sa mga, <coughs> mga merong lactose intolerance na katulad ko, uh, mahina ako sa mga dairy products, no? uh, tulad ng gatas. Kasi ang whey galing sa gatas siya, no? Uh, hindi ko kaya absorb yung gata since na nalaman ko to nung uh, kahit mga 20s ako hindi na ako minum ng gata eh. kasi nga hindi ko siya ma-absorb at ano ako nagbabawal ako ng bowel movement LBM hindi ko kaya siyang absorb yan so kaya nga ano eh lalo na mga Asians no lactose intolerance yan mahina ang lactase enzyme natin So, yun nga, medyo, ano yan, sinasabi yan, matanda, gumamit. Lalo na pag tumanda ka na, uh, mababa na yung lactase enzyme mo. So, misa, pinopromote nila na, yun nga, gumamit ang matanda. Or strong bones. Paano magkakaroon ng strong bones kung hindi naman na-absorb? So, yun. So, kailangan ma-identify mo talaga kung lactose intolerance ka. Ako, lactose intolerance, so, <coughs> I use a uh, uh, whey protein isolate. The whey protein isolate and or hydrolyzed no so halos magkapareho lang naman yan so yan ang yan ang kailangan ma-identify niyo muna uh, kung anong type of protein na fit to your body and so yun ang rule of thumb pag kapag uminom ka kasi pag inom mo at maya maya eh tatakbo ka na sa comfort room eh lactose intolerance ka. So, kalitan mo yung whey protein mo. Gawin mong isolate. Okay? So, <coughs> punta naman tayo sa mga timing ng inom, no? If you're on the budget, 
Uh, say budgeted lang ang pera mo. So you can take one scoop. Take it from 0 to 30 minutes after your workout. So huwag kang lalampas ng 30 minutes na hindi mo naiinom yung whey protein. So take one scoop. Kung ilang kaya ng budget mo, kung kaya mong two scoops, okay din. Pero depende pa rin, no? Uh, kung two scoops ka nga, medyo nagbabloat ka naman. So, bawasan mo. Gawin mo lang one scoop. So, yun na perfect timing. The most perfect uh, timing yung after training. With fruits and kung may creatine monohydrate ka, you can put 5 grams. No? So, yun ang kagandahan uh, after the training. Kasi it's, there's a so-called window opportunity. It will took up to 0 to 30 minutes. Naka-open yan. At uh, once na nainom mo ka agad yan, uh, it goes inside your muscle. At uh, na-prevent mo yung catabolism. No? So, ano pang uh, right timing ng inom ng whey protein? Uh, sa morning, upon wake up, you can take one scoop or two scoops, depending on sa uh, capacity nyo. So, yung iba kasi tatlong scoop yung malalaki, no? Ako, normally, two scoops. Kaya. So, upon wake up, or, kung magka-cardio kayo, after your morning workout, no? So, you can take one scoop with the uh, fruits and creatine monohydrates. So, the other timings uh, is so-called meal replacement, no? <laughs> Let's say, 12 o'clock. You don't have uh, any choice. Nagkaroon ka ng meeting or what. Hindi ka makakain. So you can have your shaker and drink your whey protein. That's the one of the timing also. And last, yung sa gabi. Sa gabi, uh, bago matulog, you can take also your whey protein. Yan. Most especially yung casinate. No? Yung casinate, maganda siya sa gabi. So ano siya, uh, long acting siya. Uh, can take you about 5 hours so unti-unti lang yung release ng protein niya <laughs> so so maganda siya sa gabi or sa meal replacement so hindi siya maganda after your training why kasi nga matagal siya matunaw so hindi siya magandang gamitin so ang magandang gamitin after the training is the way concentrate and the way isolate yan dalawang yan and that's it. Yan po ang mga most uh, right timing ng, ng pag-inom ng whey protein. So, first, identify first what kind of whey protein fit to your body, no? fit to your system. Then, uh, yun. Ala, ano yun? Sundan nyo lang yung mga timings ng inom no? ng whey protein. Okay, uh, before we end up, would like to thank yung sponsor natin. Yung Universal Nutrition Animal PH Saka yung Edge Pro Philippines no? Salamat po At uh, Ito yung One of the best The icon of the supplements no? so, Universal Nutrition Since 1977 and Nag ano sila sa, Nag uh, Nag ano sila mga World champion Gumagamit na yan This choice of the champions And proven and tested Since 1977 Imagine that no? So thank you po until next time, God willing, this is your lifestyle coach, Jerry Turner.